Hi, Lauren. Thanks for uh, sending us in your question. I've written it out here. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is rewrite it. Um, I'm just going to change the order of it so it's easier to look at. So I'm going to put the negative 3 square root x minus 1 and then plus 6. Okay, so now it says part A is write down what the uh, related parent function would be. So in this case, um, the related parent function would be y equals the square root of x. Okay, and then what I'm going to do here is make a little chart, an xy chart. Um, and then we're going to plug in key values into this function just to see what the parent function looks like. So I'll plug in 1, 2. Now I'm going to plug in 4 because the square root of 4 is 2. And I'm going to plug in 9 as well because the square root of 9 is 3. So we're picking strategic values that help us graph. Um, and whole numbers are always nice to work with. Uh, plug in 0, we'll get 0. If we plug in 1, we'll get 1. So if we plug, if we graph these points on our graph, Two, nine, three. Here we go. So here is what our graph looks like. It's basically a half a parabola. That's what the square root function is. So that's our parent function. Uh, part B, describe what you would do to the parent function to get the new function. Okay, so here's where it gets a little tricky. Okay, we're looking at this minus one. X is always lie. I always tell my students, X is lie. So this is actually going to shift the graph to the right one. Okay. So that's the first change that's going to happen. And the next change here is that we're going to multiply the y value by negative 3. Okay. Oops, we got a little error there. Let's erase that. Um, so yeah, we're going to multiply the uh, y value by negative 3. Now really, if you had to break it down, this negative uh, actually reflects across the um, x-axis. Okay, and then you multiply the y value, so I'll put a little thing here, multiplication, the y value by 3. Okay, which really, um, it's called a uh, stretch. So this would be a y stretch by a factor of 3. Okay, and then this guy right here, the uh, 6, that's a shift up 6, and that's what you do last. Okay, in general, um, you want to follow PEMDAS when you're doing all these reflections and shifts. So like what you would do first is inside the radical, then you would times it by negative 3, which means you would do the reflection and the stretching, and then you would go up 6, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these points, um, let's see, well actually you know what we're going to do, we're going to graph it on the same graph because it says graph the parent function and the new function, so that way they'll be on the same graph. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this point and I'll move it right one so it'll be here, then I'm going to times it by negative 3, the y value. Well, the y value is 0, so it's going to stay here. Then I'm going to go up 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so now it's here. This point, I'll go right 1, and then I times it the y value by negative 3. So now that point is going to go all the way down here. If you times the y value by negative 3, um, that'll take you down to negative 3 here. Then you go up 6 from there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's right here. Okay. And then next, we're going to take this point and go right 1. And then see how the y value is 2? So we're going to times that y value by negative 3, which would take you to negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then you go up 6, which will take you right here. Okay. And the last point is here. We'll go right 1 times it by negative 3. Well, the y value at this point is 3. So that'll take us to negative 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then from there we go up 6. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that'll take us right there. So this graph is now going to look like this. All right. So a lot of things happened in that graph. And if you wanted to be sure, what you would do is plug in points to check your answer to make sure you did it right. What I would do is plug in a chart here, make an XY chart, and plug in, I'll plug in 1 to make sure that we get 6. So we plug in 1, we'll get 1 minus 1 is 0, square root of 0 is 0, times negative 3 is still 0, plus 6 is 6. Now I want to plug in 2. If you plug in 2, you'll get uh, 1 underneath here. Uh, square root of 1 is 1, times negative 3 is um, negative 3, 
plus 6 is 3. So that, that's that point right here. So, so far we're doing good here. Now we're going to plug in, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, um, 5. So we plug in 5. You know what, at this point, actually, I realized I made a mistake here. It's actually 1 over. So the graph actually goes through here. Okay. Um, you know, let's erase that. So there it is. Okay. And then, um, so our, if we, as we plug in 5 here, we'll get uh, 4. The square root of 4 is 2. Times negative 3 is negative 6. Plus 6 is 0. And notice that confirms this point. And then lastly, we're going to plug in the point 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. Times negative 3 is negative 9. Plus 6 which will give us negative three, which is this last point right here. All right. Well, thanks so much for sending us in your uh, question, Lauren. Um, just so you know, our hours are Sunday through Thursday from 4 to 10 p.m., and that's Pacific Standard Time as we are located in California. So um, it's right now our time is 2.30, so I just saw your problem, so I answered it. But normally we, are, we answer questions from 4 to 10 p.m. our time. Thanks for sending us in your question, and uh, we look forward to answering any math questions you have in the future. Bye.